The U.S. and Indian governments have been cooperating for the last couple of decades increasingly, and just over the last few months, they launched something called the Initiative for Critical and Emerging Technologies. Looming over this is a, is a bigger question, which is whether this kind of cooperation is realistic. Hi, I'm Professor White. I'm Professor of Practice here at Johns Hopkins SAIS and non-resident fellow in the Foreign Policy Program at the Brookings Institution. Uh, I'm here today to talk about what the U.S. and India are doing to forge deeper technology partnerships, and I've been interested in this topic as a scholar, but also as a practitioner. I worked at the Pentagon uh, when the U.S. and India developed a defense technology and trade initiative uh, and then served in the Obama White House uh, when the United States and India advanced their relationship uh, on a range of uh, technology and defense issues. After spending some time in, in India uh, recently with my students, I'm optimistic that it, the United States and India can find ways to cooperate on artificial intelligence and, and machine learning. And I'm optimistic for a few reasons. One is that India does bring some real advantages to the table. It does have deep expertise in software and in imaging. Another area where there's a, a lot of talk is in semiconductors. Uh, I'm a little more skeptical about how deep this cooperation can go, given that the United States is trying to bring semiconductor manufacturing capability back uh, to the United States. Here again, India's comparative advantages in software could be, could be really interesting. The third area where I have some optimism is in defense cooperation. We could see some very meaningful defense partnerships over the long term, where major US defense contractors really begin to, to lean heavily on, uh, on Indian firms uh, in, in software and in hardware. I think the success or failure of this new initiative on critical and emerging technologies uh, will really be whether both governments over the course of this year can build a set of incentives and a set of programs to engage their uh, private sectors. If we can weave together our economies, uh, this has a much better chance of being meaningful over the very long term.